Welcome guys to another video on labor economics. In this video, we will learn about labor market equilibrium. What is labor market equilibrium and how we can show labor market equilibrium? Labor market equilibrium is the state at which labor supply equals labor demand. It means the quantity of labor supplied in the market is equal to the quantity of labor demanded by the firms in the labor market. So how we can show it? Suppose that our labor demand equation LD is equal to A minus BW and labor supply equation is LS equal to C plus DW. The first step that we should do it is to find out the market clearing wage, RWE. What is market clearing wage? Market clearing wage is the wage rate at which labor supply equals labor demand. So let's just start. When you want to find the market clearing wage, we have to set up the condition of labor market equilibrium, which is labor, sub labor demand is equal to labor supply. So when the labor demand is equal to labor supply, this side is equal, then this side will be equal to. So then A minus BW is equal to C plus DW. The only variable that we have here is the wage rate W. So we will move all this expression, which they have W in one side of the equation, all the other uh, terms to another side of the equation. So here we have BW plus DW is equal to A minus C. So we have a W common factor here, then B plus D, W is equal to A minus C. So we'll divide both sides of the equation by B plus D. Then we'll have W is equal to A minus C over B plus D. And this is called market clearing which. As I said, market clearing wage is the wage rate at which labor supply is equal to labor demand. Then the next step, when we find out the market clearing wage, the next step is to find out the equilibrium quantity that labor demand is equal to labor supply. So then we can plug in this value either to labor demand equation or labor supply equation. We will have the same result. LE or quantity at equilibrium at both case, either we plug in this number in labor demand or labor supply, we will have completely the same result. For example, let's plug in this number or this value of WE market clearing language in the labor demand. And instead of W, just add the value of WE market clearing which A minus C over B plus D then we will have this expression. With this expression, A minus B will cancel out with A plus B. Then we will have AD plus BC over B plus D. Next, let's plug in this value to labor supply curve. Again, we will have C plus D, and instead of W, we will plug in the market clearing wage here, A minus C over B plus D. Then again, we will have BC plus CD plus AD minus CD. So, here CD will cancel out with this CD. Again, we will have AD plus BC over B plus D. So at both case, either we uh, plug the number of market clearing wage in labor supply or labor demand, we will move to the same value of quantity of labor. So this is called equilibrium quantity of labor. This is called market clearing wage or uh, wage rate at equilibrium. So then, how we can show it graphically? So graphically, the market equilibrium is the condition, is the state that labor supply curve cross the labor demand. Labor supply curve cross the labor demand. So recall that from the previous video that we uh, talked about, labor demand curve is the curve that shows how many workers or employers are willing to hire at each wage level. A labor supply curve is the curve that shows that how many laborers are willing to enter in the specific labor market at each wage rate. So 
if we draw the labor supply curve and labor demand curve at the condition or the situation that they cross each other, that is called labor market equilibrium. At that point, the wage rate we have is called market clearing wage, and the quantity that we have is called market equilibrium quantity. So here, WE at this point is called market clearing wage, and LE at this point is called quantity at equilibrium state. So when the wage rate is above the market clearing wage, for example, W1, at this wage rate, at W1, labor supply will be more than labor demand, and we face to excess supply of labor. So now, at this wage rate, more people are willing to enter to the labor market and get job. But when the wage rate is higher than market equilibrium wage rate or market clearing wage rate, least number of employers are willing to hire employees at this high wage rate. So we will have more supply than demand. So what will happen? Some of the people which they are coming to the labor market and they want to find job. So when they cannot find job at higher wage rate, so they are willing to accept lower wage rate just to find job. So then there's an incentive for some people to work with least wage rate. And when the employers see that there are more people which they are willing to get job with lower wage rates, so they will offer lower wage. So they will move along the demand curve to offer less wage rate for the workers. And also, when they move toward lower wages, some of the workers will move out from the market. They are not willing to work anymore. So then the labor supply curve will again, will come down. We, we move along the labor supply curve. So until we come to the condition that again, labor supply is equal to labor demand. That at this rate, wage rate, no one are willing to move more. No one are willing to disturb because there is no more uh, shortage or no more surplus. And when we have wage rate lower than equilibrium wage rate at this point, at this point then, we will have excess demand. For example, at W2, the demand is higher than supply. When the demand is more than the supply, so you will have excess demand. We'll have excess demand. So more employers are willing to hire employees, but at this wage rate, less employees are willing to enter to the labor market. So what will happen? Those firms which they want to hire labor from the labor market, they will going to offer more wages for the labor uh, for the labor to hire new labor market, new labor from the market. So then they will move along the demand curve. But at, when the wage rate increase, some, some of the uh, employers will move out from the labor market because they're not willing to hire employees with higher wage rate. So at this case, when the demand curve move along, so employers move along the labor demand curve, and also when some of the employees see that there's an opportunity to get higher wages, so more people are entering to this labor market. Until we come again to the wage rate, and quantity of labor that there is no more shortage or surplus. So at this wage rate, we will have equilibrium labor market and both sides, uh, suppliers of labor, which is individuals and demander of labor, which employer, employers or firms, both of them will be happy. So, but this equilibrium wage rate and quantity will not remain fixed forever because there are some factors which they disturb the labor market equilibrium. For example, there are some factors which they affect the labor demand and shift the labor demand curve either to the left or the right side. And some factors which they are affecting to the labor supply, they shift the labor supply curve either to the right or the left. At that point, the market equilibrium wage rate and also quantity will be changed. For example, let's suppose that due to increase in quantity of demand for the final output, firms are willing to hire more labor. 
So because increase in the quantity of demand for the final output is non-wedge determinant, so the demand curve will shift to the right. So in this case, at each wage rate, employers are willing to hire more labor. So in this case, if we keep the current market clearing wage rate, so at this market clearing wage rate, again, we will have excess demand because the demand will be more than supply. So at this wage rate, this portion of the workers are willing to work. But due to the increase in the demand for the final output, employers are willing to hire more. So when they are willing to hire more, but not that much people are in the labor market to supply their labor. So what will happen? So some of those employers are willing to offer more wage in order to attract the qualified labor from the labor market. So they will, uh, uh, when they are going to uh, increase the wage rate, some of the employers are not willing to do. So they will move out the labor market so that demand uh, will go along this way. And also, when the employer, employees or workers see that now wage rate is getting increased, so some of new labor will enter to the labor market. So until again, labor demand and labor supply curve cross each other in completely a new pipe. For example, E prime. In the E prime point, Again, we will have new equilibrium quantity and new equilibrium market clearing wedge, which both of them is higher than the existing market clearing wedge and market clearing quantity. Because due to the shift of labor demand curve into the right, we will have completely a new market clearing wedge and market, clear and market equilibrium quantity. And also let's consider another case with the labor supply shift to the right. Labor supply shift to the right. For example, the wage rate and substitute labor market decrease. When the wage rate and substitute labor market, for example, consider again, as uh, I said in the previous example in the previous video, uh, consider the customer service employees with the market researchers employees. So when the wage rate and market research labor market, uh, market research decrease, so more people are willing to work at the customer service. So then the labor supply for the customer service will shift from S1 to S2. So if we keep the market clearing wage at this wage rate, at this wage rate, more people are willing to work. But there is no such demand for them. There is no such demand for them. So when the employers see that there are too many workers in the labor market which they are willing to work, what do the employers do? The employers are trying to offer less wages because they know that some of the labor now from the labor market, even they are willing to work at lower wage. So they are trying to offer less wage. So when they are trying to offer less wage, so some of the new employers are also entering to the labor market to hire at that wage rate uh, employees or workers from the labor market. So then the labor demand curve will move along toward offering lower wage and hiring more labor. And also what will happen to the supply side? Some of the people which they came to this labor market to supply their labor, so they are not willing to work at lower wage. So the number of labor supply again will decline. The number of labor supply will decline because at lower wage rate, there's not too many people they are willing to work. So then again, we will come up to another market clearing state. With this market clearing state, we can see that the new market clearing wage, W prime E, is lower than WE because due to a higher supply, now the labor wage decreased. And also, but in another case, the quantity of labor that hired in the labor market is increased. So we can see in this case, we will have lower market clearing wage 
but a higher employment rate. Also in this case, we have a higher market clearing wage and also more employment due to a higher demand. So higher supply will decrease the market clearing wage but increase employment, but a higher demand will increase the market clearing wage and also employment. So in this two case, the market clearing wage disturb the existing market clearing wage. I hope the concepts of labor market clearing, labor market equilibrium is clear for you now. And in the next video, I will work on a practical example to be more clear for you how to find out the labor market equilibrium. This is it for today. I hope to subscribe my YouTube channel. See you next time.